You wanna see what I got? There's a company called Gosney Ovens and they have an amazing story about the founder, Tom Gosney. I reached out to the company to let them know that No Fix Address helps people eat with dignity, one huggable at a time. And all we wanna do is keep getting that growing and keep the partnerships going. The story of Tom Gosney is unbelievable. Addicted, alcoholism, homelessness, insecurity, and then the rise of the Phoenix. He comes back, he discovers that he has a passion for cooking and entertaining his friends, and he uses his passion to create an oven like no other. Do you wanna see it? Here it is, check it out. This is the Gosney Dome, two dual flame. You can use uh, propane or you can use wood or charcoal. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna go and unpack it for you. Before it goes on the new truck, which we're building right now as the centerpiece, we wanna unpack it and try it out. So we'll do two videos. The first one's gonna be us um, taking the dome out of the box and packaging and seeing what we got inside and giving you all the details of what that looks like. And then the second one is gonna be out in the mountains where we're gonna go out and cook an Italian Roman style pizza, fresh and hot. Hey, we're downstairs here now and we brought the oven in from the truck. We are gonna look and see what we can find inside the Gosney Dome. That's right. Here it is, the box comes with a lovely black finish, a little detail of what you're gonna be looking at inside, but it's mystique, it's a little bit hidden still. So I really don't know what we're gonna get in there, but let's dive on in and find out together. I can only imagine what the UPS person thought when they brought this up the stairs, and I do feel bad for them. I got home and it was sitting on the deck. I wanna open it up now with a little X-Acto knife, just cutting three times. And oh, okay, so we've got our operator manual right on top. We have these cards, uh, warranty information, the technical manual. Now, so the technical manual is not about cooking the food and recipes, it's about how to best utilize the performance of this machine because it is highly technical, performs the best uh, operation you can get for an outdoor garden pizza oven on the market today. Oh, important, how to clean and prepare your oven. So this is about before you turn it on, how to avoid any thermal shock. Uh, you wanna make sure that stone, the stone that is the key part that retains the heat in these ovens, how to care for that stone to make sure it doesn't crack, get too wet, you don't wanna submerge it in water when you clean it. And I have my owner's manual, which does look like it has a few recipes in it. I've heard about their famous recipe for dough. Uh, the ne Neapolitan pizza. But what you're gonna see in part two of this video is we're actually gonna be cooking a Roman style pizza out in the mountains. And uh, that's where we're heading next. So we're gonna take this oven to uh, our Canadian Rocky Mountains and we're gonna perform the perfection of a Roman style pizza by a local bakery here uh, called Italiano Please. And this uh, this couple ran a bakery in Rome for a pizzeria for 30 years. So their, their crust is gonna be the test of this oven. But you have everything in here. You have your digital thermometer, which is great, built into the unit itself, so you're not walking around and losing it. Um, there is actually another ingredient, uh, another thing you can have. It's called the integrated steam injector. I'm interested in knowing more about this. Essentially, it goes on the back of the oven and it turns it into a smoker. So you can actually use this oven for more than pizza, right? You can use it to cook and bake bread. But if you wanted to create um, a baking if you want to bake bread, you have to have more moisture content. And so in order to bring that moisture in, you get the integrated steam injector, and then you can do yourself like your own bread in there. Can you turn it into a, a full bakery? Here is a document right on the top called the unboxing document. Uh, number one, two, three, and four. So it's very specific, I suppose, on how you're supposed to take it out. Number one, lift the styrofoam pieces carefully because again, I said, I like to keep those. I like to keep all the styrofoam so I can re-put it together every time it's washed and put away for a season or whatnot. I like to keep it in its box. That way, when I'm looking through the shelves of all the equipment, I see the picture, I know what it is, right? Uh, and I know where to find it. And it also stays clean in there. If you're gonna disinfect it and put it away, it stays clean. And then you just have to do your uh, sanitary wipe before you use it again. And then it's also warning about the weight. So the weight of the oven itself has four straps and there'll be these straps on the corner. And it actually looks like it requires two people. So I'll have to bring someone in uh, to help me. So we've opened the box and now we're gonna remove the styrofoam top by two holes here in the styrofoam. Remember, keeping this uh, all in one piece is key for storage for later. There are four corner pieces of styrofoam as well. So just reach in, there's finger holds. Make sure not to catch on the cardboard flaps on side, but again, two here, two more, this one comes out. And there's another styrofoam section on the bottom under the oven, keeping it from being shook during travel or transport. So it's a really nice 
reusable storage unit when you're, uh, you know, moving it, say from locations, or if you just had to put it away for a little while and wouldn't be using it, it can have its own contained storage space. Do -do -do, do -do -do. So time warp. Okay, we've got the oven out of the box. There's the four straps that we use to lift it out and it comes in a nice uh, cloth cover just to keep it from any um, imperfections happening on the coating finish of the oven itself. I wanted to show you what you saw there is inside the box is the bottom portion of the styrofoam. So what I would do is if the oven's out, I would take this part here and I would just put it right back in like so and I would just use it for storing all the pieces when it's out of use, okay? You can clearly see the four straps on the side that we use to pull it out of the box safely and they're mounted underneath. And then we have this cloth cover keeping it from any imperfections hitting the finish of the oven itself, which is gonna be beautiful. So now we've got it up on the table. We did use the straps to help get it back up there and was actually not so bad. You can see the Gosney logo on the front, but also their motto is on the side, designed for life. And what I love about that is it's not only saying this is built to last, that this is gonna be an oven that's gonna carry you forward and have hundreds of great times with your friends and family, but also the story. The story that this oven is representing is recovery. It's representing that anyone out there who's had stumbles can make themselves new again. They can get the help, they can bring it together, they can make something of themselves because this truly is a testament to what perseverance looks like and uh, not letting yourself get bogged down by past decisions, um, continuing to move forward and doing it in a positive solution focused way. So, so amazing. Of course, with no fixed address, serving in a mobile soup kitchen, that's a big part of what we want. We want this oven to show people when they come by the connection to that story. And the reason is uh, what we're doing is we're feeding people wherever we go, whether they have the ability to pay or not with dignity, hot nutritious foods through the use of a huggable token. And I'll give you a link down here to buying a huggable if you want. You can just go on our website and get those and you can help support us. We're gonna open this up. It has a cinch on the side so you can back it off to get to a little bit more room. But simply put, you're gonna see the cream color, which is my choice. It was either in a British racing green or it was in a cream color. And the reason we went for cream is because that is the palette for the new branding of No Fixed Address. Um, so we wanted to match this. We basically chose a new rebranding based on this matte black and this cream. So this became the base or the background for the whole design of our new electric truck. So that's how important this oven is to us. It is completely dome shaped, has a port at the top for the chimney, thermostat control and built-in thermometer. And then of course the G logo. This box, I'm thinking chimney, what are you? Let's find out. Pretty standard back off flap with a few additional pieces. So I can see that I have the matte black chimney extender or coupler here in that traditional stove, stove pipe black. You would see that these pieces add together to go up to the top to form kind of a short butt. There's not a very tall chimney on these. It's The flue is um, only a few inches higher than the actual oven itself, which gives it a pretty neat look. And I'm gonna have to find a way to get that distance between the roof and the oven. So I'm thinking of putting the oven up higher at eye level so that we still have this pop out of the top of the new truck and that it can show um, the design of a, so the truck kind of looks like a house in a way. No fixed address, a mobile soup kitchen that has a chimney sort of representing housing first or what we want to do. And then you have the Gosney logo on the still black and you have a cap. I think it's the ashtray, if I'm not mistaken. So your fuel options in the dual mode can be propane or natural gas adapter. And you can also use charcoal or wood. Now I'm really excited to be doing some different types of uh, flavored woods. But here you have your uh, on, like you're basically opening, closing the flue through this spiral adapter here. And then this would be your ashtray. There are two places on the stone. There is a port for the ashes to fall through and that's when you're burning the wood. So you would start by putting the wood inside, letting it burn. You would start your fire inside to heat it up. And then as you added more, the ashtray on the side is going to be collecting the ashes and then this is, this is how you would dispose of them. This is a pretty simple setup, honestly. It comes out ready to go. If you were to bring this out to a barbecue, I think you could be cooking within minutes. So here's our propane gas line adapter. I'm gonna have to read the instructions very carefully on this before I start it out, because of course, you have to make sure that your pressure fittings are done correctly. Uh, that might differ depending on where you are in the world and the different configurations that your, uh, your, your, 
your local area uses. And there is a warning here to make sure that you read this before hooking up. But this would be if you're gonna run gas on it. And this also includes a battery, which I'm guessing is for the thermometer here. That's my guess is so the battery would be going in here or maybe down below because the built-in thermometer is a huge thing for this to have. Every time you're cooking from the moment you start it up, it's monitoring the heat of that oven and letting you know when that stone is at that right temperature because you want to get this really hot. Like I'm talking 450, 500 degrees hot so that you can retain that heat so that when you put your uh, pizza in, you don't even need a flame much. You just a little bit of flame to keep warm. It's the heat, re the residual heat in the oven, the special arc fl flame that's crossing over top, but also the retention of the heat of that stone, which is gonna give it that perfect crust. So what I know about this is these are the adapters. There should be a hole over in the stone over on the right hand side. I can see it now just above the ashtray. There's a hole in the in the stone that you can um, place a cap over if you want to use gas. So, so this is the cap that would go inside here, closing that off so your food doesn't fall down in the ashtray when you're using gas. This looks like a probe thermometer, which is excellent. So in addition to a internal thermometer, it looks like I've got two not one, two probe thermometers that have the wire connections. Let's have a look at the nice little detail there with the orange. It would uh, pop off this way and then looks like it comes off pretty easily, just like that. And then this would plug into a port. My guess is I've got two outlets here, right there. So I've got two outlets here next to the digital readout where I could also do probing of meats or anything in the oven that I want an internal temperature of. If I'm not just interested in what the heat of the oven is, if I wanted a more specific, the probe is uh, the best. This is actually the stone that you use as the cover. So this is the exact same material as the stone inside the oven, but it's a puck. And the reason it's a puck is because that is the shape of the hole that heads down into the ashtray. And when you're not using the ashtray, when you're gonna be using gas, you simply put the puck inside, drop it down into the hole, and that way your entire surface is, is ready to use as a cooking surface. This would be uh, to use when you're using the wood. So this is the Gosney oven in cream dual fuel unit. Thank you to everybody at Gosney. Thank you, Dalen. Thank you, Jade. Thank you, Tom for coming up with such an exceptional unit and trusting in us that we will put it in the new truck. We're gonna make the best of this partnership. We're gonna showcase and share that story as we bring hope and dignity to the streets of Calgary and beyond together. So let's make this difference, everyone. One huggable at a time. www.nofixaddress.ca or just look me up on Instagram, nofixaddress underscore YYC. And pretty soon you'll be seeing us cooking.